let's get straight into this video original video link in the description can you immediately name the largest snake in the world i'll mm, give you a hint Python? this is the name of a very famous horror movie did you guess? Well, yeah. Right. It's anaconda. the anaconda. Yeah, 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 anaconda. If we pair it with the largest crocodile, Cassius, weighing almost one oh, ton, what? you can write a script for a new horror film. But these giants are just babies compared to those that once lived on Earth for a long time. Take, for example, Chronosaurus and Titanoboa. Once, these two predators were a threat to all life, both on land and in water. Wonder. But what would happen if they still live today? Could humanity survive, or would it be the end of us? Now, I'll tell you about the ancient monsters that terrorized everything in their path. You'll learn when and where these monsters lived, and then will bring them to the present. You'll see whether these giants will capture our world and if people will be able to put up a fight. Something tells me that today it's going to be very hot. Before turning on the time machine, let's get to know our characters better. We'll start with Titanoboa. This ancient snake lived about 58 million years ago. And according yeah. to scientists, for at least 10 million years, it was the largest predator on the planet. Its what? length reached 13 meters or 43 feet. And it's 43 feet holy moly imagine seeing a snake that's 43 feet now i will say i feel like a lot of animals like huge animals are still on the earth and haven't been discovered like it's so much earth out there and there's so much water the planet is literally covered in what like 70 percent water that we haven't discovered yet <laughs> a lot of water that we haven't discovered yet so it's not unimpossible and a lot of different you know islands that we probably haven't visited its weight exceeded a ton. Can you imagine this giant? Here's an illustration for you. That's if insane. you lay two giraffes on the ground, then Titanoboa will still be longer. Jeez. Or you can just look at these two vertebrae. The model on the left belongs to the anaconda, and on the right, Titanoboa. It turns out that the largest snake living today is half the size of the ancient reptile. In width, the mega snake could reach one meter or three feet. God it dang. could easily swallow a young hippopotamus. True, in ancient times, there were no hippos. Titanoboa preferred to eat fish, and this monster could be found in dark swamps and rivers. In addition to fish, it could feast on crocodiles. Man. It was a sophisticated killer. The giant monster attacked its victim and strangled it in its strong embrace. Then the snake swallowed it whole and digested Jeez. it for a long time. The victim suffered a compression force comparable to one and a half times the weight of the Brooklyn Bridge. Are you so serious? So put in numbers, that's 28 kilograms per square centimeter, 400 pounds per square inch. Mm -hmm. Even though the Chronosaurus was smaller in size, it was also a very bloodthirsty predator. It's what My thing is, like a lot of these animals that were big like that, Cause like we have the anaconda now, but are is the anaconda fast? Or is the python fast? Like they're kind of slow moving animals, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. <laughs> Wide open mouth full of many small teeth speaks for itself. And the size of the predator is comparable to the dimensions of an orca, also called a killer whale. To be more precise, the Chronosaurus reached a length of more than 10 meters, Jeez. or 33 feet, and its weight could reach up to 12 tons. In its appearance, it was remotely oh similar to a modern crocodile, only in a very enlarged version. And even their bite strength is a close comparison. It was also a skilled swimmer that probably attacked its prey from the depths. Chronosaurus had a very powerful rib cage, four flippers, and a small tail. It literally gnawed at its victim, 
leaving no chance for survival. No. Chronosaurus couldn't have encountered Titanoboa. They lived in different periods and even perhaps loved a different habitat. Chronosaurus could live in fairly cold southern seas, but Titanoboa loved a hot climate. But See, like something like that could probably be in the Antarctica right now. I mean, I don't know, man. It's like, I feel like there's a lot of things that haven't been discovered that are still on planet Earth, you know? big things like animals like dinosaur type animals this didn't stop the two predators from instilling fear and terror into all living creatures in the area now let's imagine that these two monsters didn't die out and that they still peacefully coexist with us although would it be peaceful? This is a big question. I if Titanoboa survived to this day, it could well be found in the equatorial tropics. For example, Titanoboa would love the hot climate of Colombia or neighboring countries like Venezuela, Brazil, Ecuador, Peru, or Panama. Obviously, people would have to more carefully protect their homes from yeah. the intrusion of Titanoboa. However, it's unlikely that the snake could crawl unnoticed into a house. It would have no trouble knocking out a window or even breaking a door. Yeah. Fortunately, this behavior is still unusual for snakes. But all the same, in order to protect themselves from intruders, people would have to surround their homes with high-voltage fences and keep a big stun gun under the pillow, just in case. In noisy megacity... I don't know, I, I, I kind of feel like we would kind of know how to live with certain big animals if they still existed. I mean, if there was like a normal thing, I don't know, I feel like it would just be normal. I mean, it'd be normal to have big animals around, you know? A huge snake would not have a single chance of survival, only if the snake doesn't accidentally wind up somewhere under the heating main, a comfort that a reptile might appreciate. But food in the form of rats would hardly suit it. By the way, most likely she wouldn't be interested in people as a food source. In horror films, the anaconda often devours people. However, in reality, it rarely attacks a person. Yeah. It can be assumed that its distant ancestor would also be indifferent to us. But for people, Titanoboa could be a welcome trophy. Any zoo in the world would dream of getting such a valuable specimen and its skin would be a real hunt. People who catch these huge snakes would become real national heroes. As wow. for the super snake diet, in our world it would find something to eat. Alligators, turtles, river dolphins would suit the giant in all respects. Animals on land would also have a hard time. Giant armadillos, manatees, tapirs, cougars, jaguars, Jeez. caimans, and Nobody Brazilian said. otters would be endangered. Sure, adults would be too big, so cubs and young animals are what they need. Titanoboa wouldn't mind eating fish since it's a more familiar diet. As a result, the food chain I can see Hollywood right now making a movie on the Titanoboa <laughs> would be broken. Some animals would probably migrate to safer areas, but the fauna of the forests of Amazonia would be greatly impoverished. Although insects and fungi would start to flourish and evolve. Very soon, there'd be no trace of the once lush vegetation. Mm. Chronosaurus would hardly have liked life in our condition either. In ancient times, even turtles were the size of a kitchen table. Eat just one and feel full all day. But such a monster would need about a dozen modern turtles. Mm. And then I still doubt it would be enough to eat. In addition to turtles, the ancient monster... But when they adapt... Like when they adapt and like kind of find another type of food sources to eat. Because I feel like most animals adapt, you know, as things, you know, time go on and they find other sources to fuel them while they're here. Fed on plesiosauria. But in our world, he'd have to look for an alternative. 
Most likely, it would switch to large marine mammals. It wouldn't be able to swallow a whale all at once. But in parts, then sure, it could eat it completely. Such a huge body would need tons of food. Like a giant meat grinder, it would sweep away everything in its path. People would suffer greatly due to a shortage of fish in the seas and oceans. Fishing itself would be very risky due to the existence of an underwater imagine. hazard. Ships would have to be built to be much more solid. Bro, and in the event of imagine you in a boat and you see the shadow in the water that big, bro, it's over with. Of the extinction of whales, a climatic catastrophe would begin. There would be nothing to extract thousands of tons of carbon from the air. In the underwater depths, there would be a daily battle for life. Given the size of the monster and its ferocious disposition, there could only be one winner. We'd have to forget about tourism and sea traffic in the monster's habitat completely. This place would be marked on all maps in red. And hmm. anyone who dared to go there would practically write their own death sentence. If Titanoboa had the most valuable though, skin, right? Then I feel like people want to see the, the the amazing things. Like if they brought any type of dinosaur back, people would pay crazy money to go see these animals, bro. Like people love to see stuff like that. I mean, I would love to see it on like a, a video, but not not actually. <laughs> I'm good on. <laughs> and a Chronosaurus would have had its teeth small and sharp like a saw. They could cost more than the horns of a rhino today. They're one of the most expensive materials in the world. Their price is about $65,000 per kilogram, mm. more expensive than gold. By the way, no did sense. you know that there's a danger of the return of extinct animals to Earth? I'm not joking right now. Scientists don't rule out the possibility. First of all, I'm talking about Titanoboa. There's speculation that it lived at a temperature of 32 degrees Celsius, that's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And given the growth rate of global warming, such average temperatures can become a reality. I'm glad it will take millions of years. Would you like to see ancient monsters Jeez. with your own eyes? Write in the comments. If you liked the video, be sure to like. If I'm not mistaken, they are trying to bring some of those animals back i'm gonna do a reaction video on one of the videos but that's that's wild man um yeah make sure i go show the original video some love the link will be in the description till next time deuces